Hey, and today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about the Infinity QX80. Now, this car kind of piques my interest a little bit because my mom owns a QX80 and she has the 5.6 uh, liter V8. And uh, they apparently, so they dropping a new one. So, you know, let's talk about it. Let's get into it. And we're going to do a little bit different video where I'm going to react to this guy. Um, I don't even know his name, but, you know, right off the rip, what I don't like about the QX80 is that it comes with the V6. So I just feel like a lot of car brands these days are like with the engines is getting worse and worse. It's like they put in fuel economy over everything and not really what the customer wants. Um, because if you got a big truck like this, I mean, you want to hear it, you want to growl, you want some power to it, not no V6, but uh, and why does it look kind of lowered? Look like it got like a little lower gray Tesla Cybertruck looking thing going on right now with that color. But yeah, let's dive into it. Let's see what they talking about. Let's see what's going on known as the autograph but before we get into this full-on full-size full luxury suv let's talk about what's going on here obviously the suv craze is still going tr strong in the auto industry and when it comes to full-size vehicles you have your favorites of course you have the ogs of the, of the luxury emblem. segment the lincoln navigator you finally get the light up emblem with this one i can see in the back of them like my mom wanted a light-up emblem just like me on my Q50. They're, they do not sell any light-up emblems for the QX80, so I'm glad to see that they finally made a light-up emblem this time. Looks like it's already built in. Like an Oreo cookie, full LED projector beam headlights, and then below that, check out the massive opening. You could get an In-N-Out burger, actually slide it right through. That's how large this functional in corner in air curtain is. It's all about channeling air, right? We have a full-size SUV. You still got to work with drag. And what's great is, is that the designers have taken function and created a form that is so pleasing to the eyes. And definitely, when you see this coming down the road, you're going to notice all of these different changes. Now, as we come across the front grill area, you're going to see some familiarities, but let me show you. I mean, it looks all right. Like, I don't really like when uh they starting to do this with the suvs where they had a daytime running lights coming up at the top and then they had the headlights at the bottom i don't i don't really know if that's they, they started that with the jeep cherokee not the jeep grand cherokee the jeep cherokee and i don't know what's going on but i don't know if i really like it i mean this do look futuristic though so maybe this is one of the designs that just might have to grow on me some of the different touches. Of course, we have the double arch design. So up top, they call this piano design the bridge. And then as we work our way down, this is your bit new bamboo forest grill. Love the way it's shaped and accentuated. There's your new infinity badge. Remember a little while back, they talked about how they updated the badge. Really dig how they took the LED lighting, taking that signature lighting to the badge itself and this is where the roads never end. I mean, look at how it tips in and it yeah, goes on now. forever. We have the world's first, not forward facing camera, but full 170 degree camera up front. Oh, so think that. about that. We have a full size SUV. Sometimes it could be a little tough to park or to, to be able to navigate down a tight road with these <clears throat> different pieces of technology it's gonna More. make it a breeze and like i said 170 degree angle up front you keep working your way down you have full functionality on this flat lower grill area and i like the way that they sculpted the lower lip area you're gonna have your body color but then you're also gonna have a little bit of this flat finish just to give you a differentiation of different materials and of course the design now if you notice, this might be sitting a little low. Yeah, the reason I, why is we have an all new. I def did say that. I'm like, this joint look like why I look lower for some reason. New air ride suspension that when you park, it's actually going to. Did he say air ride suspension? Oh my gosh, bro. Uh, it's going to be really expensive to fix later on down the road if you want to like maintain your QX80 for a long time. I don't know if I'm a fan of that, but let's see. What are you Lower about? the vehicle, 
And then, of course, as you're driving, it rises back up. You can raise this vehicle, the new QX80, to where you actually have an additional over two inches of ground clearance from your standard driving position. So this is the stuff, like I said, it's gonna give you a nice, comfortable ride, but also the ability to raise when maybe you need that extra ground clearance. Now, as we take the elevator on up, I am in love with what they've done with the hood because they blended the usual signature touches, but you could tell it's an all new design. So we have a totally smoother, wide smoother and sure. open hood, but look at what we have. That body line that comes from the top portion of the grill with that dark chrome accent goes into the hood like you've seen on other Infinity products, and then the, the line evaporates. It's gone. Another thing I'm digging is I like the way they didn't go too bulbous with the actual hood body lines. They kept it flat. I ain't gonna hold with that word he used, bulbous, but the way they, the way they do the hood is like, comes out on the end, and like it's really hard to see while driving. I ain't say like really hard to see, but like if you like getting close to something, like with the hood coming like flares out a little bit, it is a little bit difficult to like see see that for real. But you could still see that intention in where they're bringing <clears throat> those infinity design touches and cues as it flows right into our A pillar. Now, as we come around the bend, like I said, this is sitting in its lowered position. But of course, as you're driving, it will raise up and you have control over this. So if you need that extra ground clearance, you can have that happen. Of course, if we have an all new wrapper, you gotta have new wheels to go with it. And what you're looking at are 22 inch wheels. Love the way they have the black finish and then this dark metal machined aluminum touch to it. Instead of having a bunch of shiny bits all over it, I like the way that they darkened it up to really give it a nice level of luxury and if you're wondering well what's the size of the tire wrapped around this ginormous 22 inch wheel 275 on the width and then you're looking of course at a 55 series sidewall you are going to be able to have that four by four getting the power to the ground and speaking okay. about power, power not only do you have Ooh, of course upgraded handles. brakes the suspension the chat yo look at the door handle Nah, I ain't gonna hold. That just kind of made me want this. I ain't gonna hold. Why the door handles? I want to see how the door handles work. Chassis is more rigid, so we actually have a more rigid chassis than the previous generation, which is gonna help the vehicle handle better. It's gonna cut down on noise and vibration harshness that enters the cabin, and just allow you to feel more composed when you're behind the wheel. Now, as you rise back up, you'll notice on the fender all of the clean crisp lines you have a functional not a fake functional side fender vent love the way they bring a little bit of the gloss black and that dark metal finish let's talk about underneath the hood now you might need a tissue i don't yes, know i know some people are going to need them there is no longer a v8 now before you get the tissue box and you why didn't they even have a v8 option Bro, they could have just had a V8 option and a V6 option just to see like what gets more sales or something. Like, hey, draw. Start crying about you don't have a V8 anymore. Let me tell you that underneath the hood, you actually have more horsepower and more torque than the previous generation. So what you're looking at is a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 pumping out 450 horsepower 515 pound feet of torque. Yeah, you get more horsepower, but you don't get that V8 sound. That like, I don't know. You just feel like in a truck, you should just have a V8. Like, that's know. over a hundred pound feet of torque more than the previous generation. And remember, torque is what gets you going. Torque is what you need when you're towing and you got your weight? family stuffed in this thing, ready to rock and roll for your family trip. You need the torque to get you going, but you also have about 50 more horsepower. But don't tell me you got turbos. Come on, bro. So they're taking care of you on both ends. Another thing that's nice to see is you have that nine speed automatic transmission. And like I said, the familiar four by four setup that has been tweaked and tuned for this all new QX80. But let's continue down the side. Now, when you walk up and you approach the vehicle, not only are you gonna get the welcoming lights from the front, you actually get these side LED lights that illuminate the ground so that you have a nice runway. It's almost like you're a supermodel 
and you're walking up on the runway to your QX80, you'll notice that we have full power folding side mirrors. And right now the vehicle's locked, so that's why the mirrors are tucked in. You do have 360 degree cameras all the way around. And look at the way that they blacked out the turn signal lighting. Instead of putting like shiny metal finish in there, they just kept it clean, simple, classy. Now, one of my favorite touches is that they kept from the concept, they kept the, the flush mounted door handles. So like those will that. obviously pop out to when you're gonna enter. I wanna see and it then though. another thing that I think was nice to see carried over is gonna be that long flat roof. I feel like that's such a signature. I ain't gonna hold, I feel like the flat handles when they like pop out, I feel like it's like easy to break, especially if you got like a family, but it looks dope though, for sure. Sure of the QX80 from the previous generation that was very popular and why even- Please tell me you get a moonroof with this. Like, come on, they like they missed that. I feel like, uh, I'm not even gonna get into it. We're gonna keep watching, we're gonna see that. But I just hope you get a moonroof. To this final year of the previous generation, people still were going after the QX80 because of that flat roof style. But what you'll notice is, is up top, we have almost like a brushed aluminum style finish to the top roof rails. I like the way they did the dark metal all the way along the bottom and all the body lines. I know this may make sense. Yes, they go from front to back, but it's how they do it. If you follow the body line in the front fender and into the door, watch how it just comes and then it just drops off. Really, really like that. And I love the way for the running boards. This has always been a touchy subject with me. I feel like sometimes on some of these SUVs running boards, they have them come out, but they're not out enough, but they're there that you always hit them on your shin when you get in. I like what they did because what the stylists and the designers did, they carved out that lower portion. So you're actually getting more real estate, but yet it doesn't seem like it's just sticking out like a sore thumb. It's the attention to detail that I think Infinity owners and future owners are gonna spot on this vehicle that's gonna blow their mind. As we work towards the rear, of course, this is still a three row SUV. So you're gonna wanna have a nice quarter window to let that light in so that people don't feel claustrophobic in that third row. You'll notice that with the roof line, how it drops down. It's not just simple straight. It's not everything straight cut. They have that design flow that comes into the rear. All right, let's look at the back. Go, it's just going to swing down from that long low roof. Dang, why they got like the Durango type style lights in the back? Like, I don't know if I like them back lights. Spoiler. And then as we drop down, I, you'll notice the new badging, the QX80 badge. Look at how they stack the four wheel drive badge next to it. They gotta look and like then of course, you're still gonna get all of your great towing capability with this. But I like the way that they didn't have any exposed exhaust no fake exhaust like some brands are doing. They just do a nice style to it. And you'll notice also how they have the spare mounted under the back of the vehicle. That's gonna it. help maximize that cargo volume on the interior. If you ever wondered why do they mount tires underneath the back? I don't know if I like them back lights though. Like I got said, it's giving like a square, like navigator type of vibe. I don't know of the vehicle rather than not putting it in the in the cargo but definitely big and bold but while we go ahead let's get to the interior and see what we're going to find with this qx80 all right guys we are all inside this brand new infinity qx80 autograph trim i know you're saying to yourself well joe i'm glad that you have gotten access to this vehicle because i was about to pull the trigger on a Cadillac Escalade, but I'm glad that I'm watching this because I think I'm gonna hit the pause button because I wanna find out more about this QX80. But what are some of the other touches? Well, first of all, you're gonna have seven different colors to choose from. This one is gonna be the Infinity QX80 specific. Another thing to remember is, is that you have all new technology throughout this whole vehicle. <coughs> now, starting price is gonna be around MSRP $81,000. And then the top autograph trim, which is what we're in, 
will be around an MSRP of $109,000. Of course, we will bring you more details as we bring you more viewing opportunities and, of course, the first drive of this QX80. But let's see if QX80 is nothing too, too crazy because the rest no, of it they don't got all holes no has more? that wonderful leather finish the you're gonna have the premium sound system that clips sound system what the fuck is clips what, what happened to the bowls premium sound system bowls and infinity went together for so long well over 20 speakers and the aluminum speaker grill covers and then ambient lighting 64 oh, colors finally. roy g biv all day long finally infinity got ambient lighting finally they, they don't have that for none of their cars in your QX80, the bottom portion of the door panel is yeah. actually soft touch material. So if you look at other brands, that's an area where they kind of go on the cheaper side of things because they know you're not going to touch it as much. But Infinity wanted to make sure that they're bringing the new materials throughout the whole door panel. And that door pocket is large enough easily for four in and out burgers and a Pepsi to wash it down. Now, going what's from the up? door panel to the dash, it continues. In a, in a Look at burgers. all of the special lighting, the infinity name illuminated on the dash like in front of the passenger, the way everything has a nice flow, the two-tone style, the stitching is literally on needlepoint. And then as you slide in, you're not gonna get a 12.3 inch screen. You're getting a little over 14 inches of screen, and there's actually two of them. So you have your 14.3 inch infotainment system screen and your digital gauge cluster. Nice, easy. Well, really three because you got the navigation, the speedometer, and then down below you got the climate. They always had two screens, I guess now. I really like what they're doing here. I like because they, they finally stepped their game up with their interior. Everybody always says Infinity Interior is done, dead. Easy access, we have the most upgraded, updated, highest functioning Google system in a current production av available vehicle. And you'll see how fast the reactions are. Of course, you're gonna have your easy swipe features, all your different apps, a built-in dash cam. So you hit that, now you can record, That's you can dope. take pictures. You also have an inside camera on the interior as well. And then we have our ultra wide camera. Look at this. That's 170 That's degrees dope. out the front of the vehicle on both screens. And then you could scroll. You got your 360. You have your ability to go through just about anything. Here we are in our secret location and you could see it on our display. Even looking through the hood, you have that technology okay. to make sure when you're parking, you're going to keep this QX80 of yours looking good without any dings or dents. Now, going back to the, the Google Maps that. system, watch this. Hey, Google, take me to the Hollywood sign, but along the way, I want to stop at a Starbucks. Doing its thing. It's okay. thinking it through. Looks like your network connection is not stable. So oh, obviously damn. we're in this underground <laughs> ground facility, but what it will do is it will easily map out that direction for you, have the stop along the way. Another thing is you could actually have parking spots that you are familiar with that are located in the infotainment system. This is the stuff that Infinity is bringing. Now you are going to have a real volume knob, so they're taking care of you to where Certain things are going to be done in the screen, but you still have some physical controls. Okay. Your start stop button, of course. And I like the way they have this other touchpad screen for all of your AC controls. I like that much better than having to go into the infotainment. You got three stages of heated seats, three stages of ventilated seats, of course, heated steering wheel, massage Yo, seats, massage not seats? just for the front passengers, but also for the mid row passengers as well. Yo. And then here is how you're going to control. I was just about to say that, like, if they put massage seats in there, they snapped. Infinity really snapped. This is a different side of Infinity that I didn't even know was possible. That's crazy. That nine speed automatic transmission, nice push button all blended in very cleanly. You could raise and lower your Infinity QX8. 
I don't like the push button. I don't think nobody likes the push button gears. It just doesn't really feel like you really driving. I don't like. I that's what I'm saying. Sometimes I don't think uh, car manufacturers really be listening to like what people like because remember when Dodge had the little the knob, the turn, the 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 gears, and everybody's like, well, how if you what if you get that mixed up with a volume button? Like I just feel like a lot of them they don't they don't listen. You know what I'm saying? Everybody likes the traditional gear shifter. It makes you feel like you're actually in a car. They don't like to press a button and be in different gears, but whatever. And you have your different cameras all by the press of a button. You just press it right there, boom. So you don't have to search all over for it. When it comes to the center console, they continue all of the leather finishes, all of the stitching. Down below, you have a nice little storage area for a purse, a purse, a sack, a satchel, even a fanny pack. You could put that or Louis Vuitton fanny pack that your girlfriend gave you. You could keep it down there. And then of course, the two tone style. You ready for this? That's Open up door number that. one. We have two cup I'm holders too. and our new infinity key fob. Ooh. Looking good. Well, With the infinity like name it. on the back. We open up door number two, <laughs> wireless charging, two USB-Cs in there. And that's another thing is you're gonna have a total of eight USB-Cs in here. And then watch this, hit the button, lift it up, and we have a cool box. So I don't know about you, on a hot LA day, I definitely want my Twinkies to be chilled. You could fit easily 24 Twinkies in there and have that nice, cool cream experience without busting your cream in here. Cause you don't wanna mess the interior. Cream. Now when it comes to the seats, a lot going about? on. First of all, notice how we have the premium speakers built into the headrest. Yeah, they definitely stole that from Cadillac, but continue. Love the soft touch leather. And you see all of this special stitching. They act. Why do they not stitch Infinity in the seats anymore? Why not? They would look so fire with an Infinity right there stitched in the seats. Like, come on. But other than that. She had to train the machines to do these special stitches in between all of the but pattern, the autograph name, the bolstering. Of course, you'll be able to adjust these seats 20 different ways from Sunday. Plus, you have your massage setting. And then when you look up, you feel good because you have the uh, Alcantara, the you have your full panoramic sunroof, and you have a digital rear view mirror. Dope. Now, one thing to point out that's really cool about this QX80 is that there is individual audio. So what I mean by that is I could actually have a phone call conversation over here and you won't hear it in different parts of the vehicle because what I'm hearing will only happen in my seat, not your seat. Isn't that nice? Because there's sometimes I'm in somebody's car and they start having a conversation about how they didn't pick up the cream for the rash and I don't want to find out about that. Cream. So it's nice to have that, hey, that's your business. You can have your own phone call. But why don't you come over here? I want to show you behind the business end, the wheel, all new wheel of this all new Ooh, Infinity. Okay. Hi guys, business time behind the wheel of this Infinity QX80. Ooh, the door we already got fire. Lori her coffee and she is a coffee connoisseur. So now what I want to do is I want to go to the Hollywood sign because I want to take some photos. I mean, it's only once in a lifetime where you have private access to that, that we're getting with Infinity. So let's go ahead and try this again. Hey Google, take me to the Hollywood sign. Now what it's going to do is it's going to calculate the best route and it's incredible how it's going to process all that information and then give us, there it is, ready to rock and roll to take us to the Hollywood sign. It's giving me two different choices. Fastest one is 19 minutes. And then you could put those stops along the way. That is what they're doing with the Google technology in this Infinity. But as we drop down, you do have two memory seat settings on the driver's side. I love this aluminum silk plate like Google with Maps. all the nice fine etching. Google Maps is way better than Apple Maps. The Infinity name, illuminated LED. And then as you're driving, it's all fingertip reach to get to all the seat controls and including the massage seat settings. Now, once you make an adjustment on the seat, it actually shows up on the screen as well. All over this all new steering wheel, kind of love the leather, the red contrast stitching, even the way they hollowed out the spokes. And then it's really nice to see a thumb wheel drive control, the Infinity name actually stamped in the leather. But they can't do that on the And seats. the stitching, not just single stitching, double stitching on the horn button, 
really classy with the two-tone. You do have paddles to go up and down that nine-speed automatic transmission. And then you do have a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then like I pointed out earlier, you're getting that 14.3 inch infotainment system that is going to allow you to be able to get through all of the details that you want on the screen. And that's gonna allow you to be able to get all the readouts, the different modes, all that different information, and a ginormous, not black and white, but full color head up display. Now, if you're wondering what is that little shape box above the steering wheel that's for the pro pilot assist which has been all revamped for this itself? qx80 for 2025 but guess what like i said this has three rows let's get into the mid row and see how your passengers are going to be spoiled in this new qx80 all right guys we're in this mid row of this 2025 infinity infinity qx80 autograph first of all because of that nice flat roof you are going to no get TVs in the tons back. of headroom, like tons of passenger back. room for all the passengers. And I think the third row, we're going to be able to show you that you're going to get pretty spoiled. Now, one of the new pieces of technology that is in this Infinity is biometric temperature control. So what is happening is there's infrared sensors in the seats that's going to measure your body temperature and it's going to control what is happening with the heating and cooling and it happens 50 percent faster than if you recognize that you were hot and then made the adjustment so you just sit here relax and it's going to make all those adjustments based off your body temperature another thing mid-row massaging seats so not only are they heated and cooled that's nothing new but you have the biometrics which is a first and then you also have massage seating for the mid row, but let's see what else is going on. You are gonna have these nice large pockets, easily put a couple uh, copies of Forbes magazine, maybe uh, Entertainment Weekly. And then in the back, you do have a nice command center. Your ventilated seats, your heated seats, your AC controls, USB-Cs, and a 12 volt, which is really nice. And then sitting here, like I said, the space, you got the speakers, your AC vents, more of that ambient trim. And then you'll notice the separate command center here in the center. So we open this up. You have your two cup holders. We have remote back. control setting, all touchscreen for the seats in the mid row. Open up this lid. You have a, a place to where you could put a couple of potato chips and two USB-Cs. But it's nice to be able to just adjust your seats. Not looking for controls, which the controls are there on the side of the seat. But it's nice to just be able to control it right from the touchpad on this screen, just like the people up front. But why don't we go ahead, it's that time. We got a third row, let's get back there and see if your passengers are gonna feel like peasants in this QX8. All right guys, third row time. And look at what they did to the passenger doors here on the rear. They actually carved out more real estate so that you can get to the third row a lot easier than the previous okay. generation. And I can appreciate that being six feet tall. Now, when you slide in, this is really phenomenal, just how you have the headroom. But here's another nice thing. I have my knees are not in my mouth. So I don't want to eat my knees. I want to eat my Twinkies, but not my knees. So knees are low. Him and Twinkies. But I never really liked how the back like headrest like lifted up. And then when it wasn't up, it was like in your back like this. So it's kind of more so like you had to have it risen up so that you can like lay back. But then if you're driving in your rear view mirror, those headrests that comes up kind of blocks your view of the back of the truck. Now in this case it's different because it has a digital thing, but you know, the QX 80s in the past before just never had a digital, uh, you know, rear view mirror. So that used to get in the way uh, this right here used to get in the way of like seeing out the back view. <clears throat> and if you need more room, are you ready for this? Electric control with the recline on the third row. Plus you're gonna have third row heated seats. Ooh. So think about that. Everybody gets some type of temperature adjustment. But see, here's the problem with that is like, 
I hate, like you have you you going you gonna have an SUV, you gonna have kids and stuff like that. What if they leave the seat warmers on? And then now every time I get in the car and I drive, obviously I'm not gonna check to see if everybody's seat warmers turn off. So is it like a thing where once you get out the car, everybody's seat warmers turn off until they turn back on, or is it a thing where it's like once you turn the seat belt warmers on, the seat warmer is just constantly running, but the driver of the car would never know that the third row seat warmer is on. You feel what I'm saying? So hopefully it's a thing where it like resets every time the car turns off, the all the heated seats turns off too, until like further notice. Man, depending on where they're sitting with the seats, and you have a USB C on both sides, because like I said, you have a total of eight. And even back here, the materials, the cup holders, the seats. This is something important. A lot of brands just kind of take whatever material is laying around and wrap the third row, not Infinity. You're gonna get the same premium leather, the special stitching that was done, the piping, even on the yeah, third row seats that. as well. Plus, the Alcantara headliner extends all the way back to the cargo area. But since we're speaking about the cargo area, let's go ahead and check it out because I heard it's been revamped for 2025. All right, guys, time to get in the cargo area. Now, obviously, you're going to have hands-free assist, but I want to open it up the good old-fashioned way because they did a great job where they hid the button. A lot of times you have this exposed button and it kind of looks really goofy. Look at how they hit it right within the trim. Looks Hit like the button, button, you get a couple beeps, nice electric assist, it rises up at a quick pace, and this is where you're going to be greeted to more cargo room than what you had on the previous generation. Like so you'll notice we do have a home power source. That's okay. going to be perfect for when you're at the beach, maybe you're tailgating, you're at a park. On the passenger side is where you're going to have a plethora of different switch gear. Now you could actually raise and lower the rear of the vehicle, and then, of course, of the you'll view. be able to raise and lower the seats. Yeah, and the seats. All okay, electric normal. assist, 60-40 split, okay. nice one-touch operation, so you don't have to stand there with your fingers on the buttons. And what that's going to do is, is obviously now maximize your room, plus Lori will be able to give you a bird's-eye view of what I was touching in the third row with the rear seat power controls, the USB-C underneath that lid, and the heated. See, now if you leave your third row heated seats on and then fold them like you know what i mean i just gotta make sure they reset or something like seats but this is where like i said infinity has gone through every nook and cranny even a little bit of storage underneath get yourself some zag nut bars some whatchamacallits some whatever you got you could put them back here and you have that room and that flexibility now i know that you want to go for a spin in this so do I, especially with that 450 horsepower twin turbo V6 underneath the hood. But that's gonna have to wait. But the good news is, not only do we have this review, but there will be another special one coming from New York. So stay tuned for that. All right, y'all. So my opinion on the Infinity QX80, I ain't gonna hold just watching this video kind of got me a little bit excited because I, 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 you know, Infinity, they really, really stepped their game up here. They really, really snapped the door handles. Like, the like I'm trying to tell you, the previous year, QX80 had none of this. Like, they would not even put a digital dash in there and charge $80,000 for a truck. So, like, it's, it's just glad to see that they really got what customers was asking for. But the only downside is that V6. But honestly, seeing all of these upgrades, the V6, I might not even be mad at anymore. Like... And you know, because they they finally starting to compete with with Navigator, uh, and and uh, the Escalade. You can tell they kind of got the seats from Escalade. Um, just that whole thing on the front, they got that look like from Escalade. They really stepped their game up. Massage seats, they really stepped their game up. I really like it. Um, I would buy it. I'm not a fan of the air ride suspension or the V6, but other than that though, it's everything else is a plus to me. Uh, like they really is like night and day between previous models qx80 in this right here they definitely really really stepped their game up i would own this over something over the previous ones that they had like the previous ones were so basic no moonroof no uh digital dash there was it doesn't even tell you like how fast you're going in numbers the the display was like slow um like i said no no massage seats 
no cool seats in the back, like just very bland. Um, but then they would charge you like top dollar for it. And now they got the the, the thing where it kind of drives itself a little bit. A lot, a lot more features. I really, really like it. Like I said, other than the V6 and the air rod suspension, I think I could live past that. You know what I'm saying? And those those two reasons why I'm mad at it is because their longevity. You got a V6 with that much power. I mean, that meant my fault. That much weight. Uh, you know, it might not be good for longevity. And then you got the the uh, air rod suspension may not be good for longevity because if you buy a truck like this, you want it to last you uh, for generations. So that's pretty much my opinion. Definitely love the new look. Definitely love the interior. They definitely snapped on this one. And thank y'all for watching. We did something a little bit different here. So let me know if y'all want more videos like this. And yeah, make sure y'all like and subscribe. We out.